Hi folks, uh, so welcome in this first video. So the, before we broke up there from school, I was asked to, a couple of people had an issue with doing the isometric. Um, so I'm gonna do that now for uh, the first one for parallel projection 16. So if we begin there with the box, and I always draw the side that will be up against the edge of the box first, okay? And again, we're gonna be half in all our measurements, okay? So we're doing this in isometric. So for example, this base here is 16, so that becomes eight. And I'll just mark that off there. Then we'll bring a light line over there and we'll keep everything nice and light until we're sure of our finished heavy lines, okay? And it can be helpful sometimes to, to run these around the box uh, if you wish. So we'll just get started, take our time, do it nice and easy. We'll try and get this uh, first side finished fully. Now you can do these obliques off to the right or the left, it doesn't matter, whatever takes your fancy. Um, I'm doing this one off to the right obviously, and that means that I will see the complete back of this object. So we'll just keep our lines nice and light for the moment. Now the height I'll need here is this guy, so I'll just bring a light construction line over, and up, and we'll use that after a bit. Now this base has the common height, so I'm just going to bring over that guy there. And you'll see why in a moment now, because I'm going to drop down these two lines now to hit it. And a lot of the time you're better off drawing what's closest to you first, okay? And then worry about, because you can worry then about what you can see and can't see after that. That's the back line there. And then uh, what we're going to do after this now is we're just going to bring across this light line over to there. That'll give us the front edge of the base. Going up as far as there. This line also we'll need to find out. Bring a light construction line over to there. And we'll mark this off 10 millimeters. And we tin in from the edge again. And then we can do the these lines heavy. So sometimes I don't know the angle, I'm just joining in two dots, drawing a line in between two dots. 
okay and that'll be as much there as we'll be able to see of that guy and same up here this guy will be going on up to here so there's different ways of things about going about doing things and drawing sometimes you need every measurement sometimes you don't okay and i'd have a heavy black line going back as far as there No, and actually this line, I just finish it up to there. We would see that guy, we'd see a bit of this one. Going from there through to there. And actually that back corner there, that should be just a light construction line there. Now the only thing we pretty much have to do after this is the hole that's in the middle, okay? So, I can see there, it's 10 in from either edge. So actually I can run on these lines here. Because they are 10 in from the edges. It's 20, but when we scale it, of course, that's 10. And then on the front, um, to measure in, it's coming in five, five millimeters. And it's 20 wide, so when I scale that, that's 10. And we'll draw these two light lines across here. And then we can do them heavy when we find where they, where they cross. Heavy line, heavy line, and just don't forget to put in, uh, you would see this guy coming down here. I'm just checking, it should be 10, 10 millimeters. It's just a bit below 10, so we won't actually see where that finishes. But that that would be the isometric scaled, one of the two version of that uh, completed. Now, if you're doing uh, I'm just going to go on there and I'm just going to do the sketch, okay, to finish up. Um, so the sketch for this again, pretty much is the same as what you'd see there. So we know the overall height. It depends on you. You can keep it to whatever size you want. Okay. So, and remember, keep all your lines nice and light. Now it's just going to go a bit into the right in there, but I'm going to let that go. I should have kept it down a bit lower, really. Okay, again, I'm going to concentrate on the side. If I was putting this object into a box, the piece that would be up against the edge there. So I'll just, and remember, it's all just iron it up, doing the best job you can. Okay, so I'll just make that the height there, we're coming down. And then I'm going to draw, just join in them two sort of dots from there to there. Bring it across to the side. I remember I said if you need to, you can use a uh, pencil to help you kind of guide you with the parallel lines. You're not actually um, drawn on the pencil, but just it's just a guide for helping you keep the lines, try and keep the lines parallel. So we're gonna go over there, bring across this line, and we're gonna have that square there and or that rectangular section that's taken out there in the front. This time we're seeing this back corner down there. Now we'll keep the lines light for a few minutes. Uh, so I'm going to come across here on the top of the box. That's one square up there, one square there. I'll drop down, come across. Again, just joining up this guy here. I'm going to join him there as well. Parallel lines are parallel in all views. It's no rule of drawing. Drop down that there. And if I wanted to, I'm just going to do a light construction one to bring that. That would have gone over to there. And it would come back. Like that there. So it's just to give me a line to drop this guy down onto. Okay, so I probably wouldn't see that anyways. That guy will be going back to there. So now I've kind of done, I can just go over my lines heavier. Remember, it doesn't matter how many light construction lines you have. It's the heavy finish black line that the human eye is drawn to.
And when you finish them, it might just give the, the very base one a bit of a heavier line. It just puts an emphasis that that's where it's resting on the ground. Okay. And uh, that's it, folks. So I'll do one more for parallel projection 17 because some people are having an issues with that. But I'll do that in the next video. Okay.